this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the new layering dies by John Next Door to make a beautiful card like this, which is really simple. It's just using one of the sets of the layering dies and we've added the Michaelmas Daisy and the sentiment onto the front. So I'm going to take you through the dies. These come in three different sets and these are three different size sets. So you have a four inch layering set. And in each one, you will have a square, a circle and a rectangle. These are scalloped with this beautiful thin scallop around the edge. Then you have a plane, so a plane square, circle and rectangle. Then you have this dotted die, which is a separate die, which just imprints a dotted pattern into your card or paper. So if you see on the original card there, you can see how we've got this beautiful dotted edge around every single shape. And the sizing is based on the plane dies in the set. So the square here is a four inch square, a four inch circle and in scope a four inch so it's four inches across but two inches there so it's in normal makeup of the way that we do things with the rectangles so that's your four inch layering die set here we have our five inch layering die set so again square rectangle and circle all three dies in each set and then we have the six inch layering set again square rectangle and circle and in each one you've got the square plain rectangle plain circle and then the dots once again and for this project and this card we're going to be making it with the six inch layering set which will fit perfectly on a seven inch card blank or using the card itself or the outer die itself it will make the perfect card that's about six and a quarter so it would go in a seven inch envelope so we'll bring in the parts we need to do this. And I've got everything sort of pre-cut to make it a little bit easier and a little bit quicker, but I will show you how we actually put those together. So to start with, you're going to need to cut each shape in your color. So we're going to bring in the layering set and we would basically put down our plane size to start with. And I found I can get the square and the rectangle together. So we will simply tape those down and run those through our die cutting machine. And everything except the square in all of the sets will go through a normal A5 machine. You do need an A4 one because of the size of the square. So we will run that through and cut it and give us our three basic shapes. What we then need is the plain shape with the dots. And to do this, this is quite simple. And again, I would put the square and the rectangle together. So you want to take your plane, take your square, take a long piece of tape and we pick up our dotted square. That allows us to hover over our plane square and get it evenly in. And we simply tape that down and cut it. We would do exactly the same with the rectangle set. So again, a long piece of tape, pick up your inner die, gives you your two handles we can hover over and tape that down. And we would run that through our die cutting machine again and cut that. We'd repeat that with the circle until we have these separate pieces. You can see here, I've got the rectangle with the piece that fits it. Same with the square and exactly the same with the circle. So we'd have all three pieces. And it's simply a case then of mounting this together. So I've put foam tape on the back. So I'm just gonna remove the foam tape. I've got one layer on this, which is a three millimeter foam tape. I'm going to evenly place this onto a seven inch card blank. So this is a commercial seven inch card blank, which is usually about six and seven eighths size because it's designed to fit in a seven inch envelope. So we put that on and just at that, it's beautiful. We could add a stamped image, a sentiment, a couple of flowers and we're done. So again, there's lots more you can do from this. I've then got the circle. And again, I've put foam tape on the back of here. And we just marry this up because they're designed to fit together. So we marry it up so that it overhangs the edge. Just like that, giving us those beautiful four corners and keeping that dot pattern going. We've got our square and what I've done here is with our rectangle. I've added a little bit of foam tape on the back of the plain rectangle. The others are glued flat. 
so that we can easily get that little bit of depth in this front layer. And you can see it easily fits in, it's designed to fit. So that fits perfectly. And again, foam tape on the back. So we just simply take off our foam tape. I'll put one in the middle for support. And again, we use the piece itself as a guide to get it nice and even on all the sides. And we just put that down, giving us this beautiful layers and a perfect place to play, put our sentiment. So for our sentiment on this, I'm using the new special sayings and birthday sayings from John Next Door die set. And I've cut them. We're going with special friend and I've cut it three times in three colours. So in this card, I'm using the clotted cream, the coconut white and the spring yellow of the Crafts 2 Essential card. Three colours just work so beautifully together. So I've put them into my spray box for speed. I'm using some spray glue and I'm using Craft Mount by 3M. You can use, if you want to, um, your glue glaze. That will work just as well if you don't like the spray glue. And if you're wanting to make sure you'll get your words straight, this is the trick to do. So I'm going to move that out of the way and pop this onto my mat. So I'm putting it onto my mat. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that it's lined up with lines on the mat. I can then take a long piece of tape, start at one line, work across. There we go, get the right line here. And then I've got a straight line to work on running through my card. So I'm going to pick the first of all, the darkest color. And I'm going to go with special and placing it against the bottom of that tape and do the same with friend. And that means that you can actually get it completely straight. And you see, because they're connected quite loosely, they can bend, so you can bend these round corners. So using the tape trick really works to get it flat. So once that first one's on, we can take our piece of tape off there we go. Just take it gently from under the P from special. Make sure that's nicely stuck down. I'm then going to take the clotted cream and I'm going to slightly offset that. So I'm just offsetting slightly to one side. It gives me a beautiful 3D without adding a lot of dimension. So there's special. And here's friend. You might find it's useful to use your pokey tool underneath just to get it there we go exactly in the right place and i can use my pokey tool just to get that moved in so you can see now we're getting that 3d look and to crisp it up i finish with white so all we're doing is putting a gentle shadow behind in the yellow and the clotted cream so then we've got our special friend Again, use your pokey tool, move it into the right place. There we go. So hopefully you can see there we've got special friend, but it really looks 3D, but it's actually very flat. So we're simply going to now add our flowers in. And if you watch the video for the Michaelmas Daisy, you'll see exactly how these flowers were put together. You could add foliage, you could add leaves, you can add whatever you want to on this really simple to add the flowers so all I'm going to do is arrange these around and what I've done is these have been cut in the same two colours the spring yellow and in the clotted cream so I'm just rotating my colours and placing them so that I'm happy you don't have to use all of the flowers Oops, my fingers are a little bit sticky from the spray glue, I think. There we go. So once I'm sort of happy with the arrangement of how I've placed those, 
I'm simply going to use the glue glaze on the back because this is a quick grab, easy glue for sticking on flowers. So it's just a case of popping it into the glue glaze and popping a little bit on the back. Let's fill that little gap there. And when I'm arranging flowers, I'm always going for a sort of triangle shape. Because I think that's the most sort of attractive look. So I have two sets of the Michaelmas Daisy cut here. One in the spring yellow, one in the clotted cream. And it's a subtle colour mix, but it just works to give that little bit of definition. Stops it looking quite so stark so again just adding glue glaze onto the back of the flowers and echoing that sort of triangle there with a triangle at the top and as I said with this card you could just put one layer in you could have two layers you could just have the circle at the front you could use some of the smaller dies in the set to really bring it in there's so much scope in this set so much more scope than I would have um, you would ever get from just net plain nesting dies. And that little bit of detail is just beautiful. And there we go, just adding our flowers on. And finally, to decorate, I'm just gonna add a few more of the little dew drops. And these are the Craft Artist glass dew drops that we've used in the center of the flowers. And again, I'm gluing them on with glue glaze because it gets them on pretty much straight away. And because it's a solvent based glue with quick drying, it means I'm not waiting hours for the glue to dry and the glass beads to turn clear again. If you use a PVA glue, you'll find that it can take up to 12 hours for them to dry and you will see the white of the glue until it's completely dry. Whereas on this, we see it straight away. And there we go. A very simple card, but doesn't look simple. Easy to make, just using the layering dies with nothing else. Just added the sentiment and the flowers. Mm -hmm.